about that. While appearing before the committee, Yasin Soweid Bogesi, a senior government valuer, revealed that each acre of land was valued 4.5 million, totaling to 2.3 billion, when he started this project in July 2020. We, we zeroed down to 4.5 million per acre, per not, acre. He, uh, not hectare, because usually they sell it in acres. Okay, mm. so again, what I'm trying to establish is how did you say, because the LCs told you 2 million. Other people said 6 million, the sellers, like you're saying. We, we, we make additions or reductions depending on, for example, you'll find that the, the comparable we've been given is near, too near the road according to this one. Another person who also appeared before the committee, Dennis Kahabura, the Commissioner for Land Registration in Chibale District, told the members that the son-in-law of Natalia Namuli, one of the claimants of the land, who was awarded 2.3 billion shillings, had applied for a special certificate of title with documents from court, and that's why they followed to process her title immediately without doing a due diligence. The notice was given and the gazette was issued and subsequently the title was issued after certain days because the law provides that the notice to gazette runs for certain days. So after certain days, the title was issued. And after the title was issued, the applicant, the administrator, prior to be registered as an administrator. The Registration of Titles Act does not provide for verification. But as a new practice, we have found out that most court documents are forged. Kahabura's remarks today hung at the committee chairperson, Joel Sonyonyi, who revealed that their incompetency led to loss of tax money. Did you verify these particular documents of Natalia Namuli? In the instant case, no. Sir. Why? Why didn't you verify? Because this is uh, a huge chunk of land. Uh, which eventually fetches a lot of money. You're talking about, about over 2 billion shillings. You didn't consider it necessary to actually verify this particular one. Mr. Chair, as I noted earlier, that we are guided by the law when we are registering documents. As far as registration of letters of administration or any document, in land registration, we are guided by the RTA, Registration of Titles Act. The Registration of Titles Act does not talk about verification. The committee also noted that Uganda Land Commission still had not changed the title from Natalia Namli's name to the Uganda Land Commission. Uh, is, is there any transfer which has ever been lodged in your office to transfer this land in the names of ULC? No. It is not. Here. Of course, yes, we can fault ULC for delaying, but... Now that facts emerge that actually this was a forgery, ULC cannot acquire a title based on a forgery. The committee then handed over Dennis Kahabura to Parliament Police Criminal Investigation Department to provide more information. The Commissioner for Land Registration, Becca Mugaino, was also directed to start processing for counselling of Natalia Namli's title. Sarah Nakandi for CTV, PM Edition. Council here was saying, is which goes